Hello, young learners. Welcome back to Reading Redness Centers. Your go-to place for exciting learning adventures. Today, we are diving into the fascinating world of natural resources. So, buckle up and let's explore together. Introduction to Natural Resources All right, team. What exactly are natural resources? Natural resources are that exist without any actions of humankind. Thus water, air, soil, minerals, coal, forests, crops, and wildlife are all examples of natural resources. Well, think of them as treasures that Mother Earth gives us to make our lives better. These resources come in three main categories, air, water, and land. Let's break it down. Natural resources are things that we get from nature. They can be used to make food, clothes, shelter, and other things that we need. First up, we have the air we breathe. It's like a giant invisible blanket covering our planet, and it's full of something super important. Any guesses? That's right, oxygen. We need it to live and breathe. And did you know, plants love carbon dioxide. They take it in and give us back oxygen during a magical process called photosynthesis. But wait, here's a fun fact to blow your minds. Did you know that a single tree can absorb as much as 48 pounds of carbon dioxide per year? That's like having a green superhero right in our backyard. Trees are a natural resource that we use to make food, paper, and furniture. Now, let's splash into our next natural resource water. Imagine a world without rivers, lakes, or oceans. It would be quite dry, right? Water isn't just for drinking. It's also home to many underwater wonders and essential for all living things. Water is another natural resource that we use for drinking, cooking, and bathing. Our third superhero natural resource is the land beneath our feet. It's not just dirt, it's a treasure trove. From the soil where plants grow to the minerals hiding underground, land provides us with a playground for exploration and discovery. Minerals are natural resources that we use to make metal, glass, and other materials. There are two main types of natural resources, renewable and non-renewable. Renewable resources are resources that can be replaced naturally. For example, trees are a renewable resource because they can grow back after they are cut down. Non-renewable resources are resources that cannot be replaced naturally. For example, oil is a non-renewable resource because it takes millions of years to form. It's important to use natural resources wisely we need to make sure that we don't use up our non-renewable resources too quickly. Natural resources are important for our survival. We need to use them wisely and protect them for future generations. This means using only as much as we need and not wasting them. So, team, now that we know about these incredible natural resources, it's crucial to be superheroes ourselves and protect them. We can do simple things like reducing waste, saving water, and planting more trees to keep our planet healthy and happy. If you enjoyed our journey, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. And subscribe to Reading Redness Centers for more exciting learning adventures. Until next time, keep exploring and keep learning. Bye for now.